Hi everyone, I'm Kelly. And I'm Sophie. And we're from Verbac Animal Health. Today, we're going to introduce you to some pasture management tips to help you improve your horse's internal parasite management program. Most deworming programs involve the seasonal use of specific mectin or non-mectin products. However, relying on products alone puts resistance pressure on our active ingredients. And while we can't always see what's going on inside our horse, there are ways to make informed choices. Parasite larvae, such as ascarids and strongyles, are ingested from pasture and lay eggs inside the horse, which can be detected in their manure. To get the most accurate reading possible, here's what you need to do. The most important thing is to remember that you need to get a sample that's less than 24 hours old to get an accurate reading. Thankfully for us, we just saw this one land. It's a good idea to sample different points from the pile and ensure that you're collecting from the middle of the manure balls where there has been less air exposure. Collecting pulled samples from paddocks will give you an indication of parasite activity within a herd and taking samples from individuals can tell you which horses may be high or low shedders and you can treat them accordingly. Just be sure to follow the instructions given by your vet or laboratory and label your samples accurately before submission. Resting your pastures can be one of the easiest ways to manage unwanted parasites. From the time that your region reaches consistent temperatures of 25 to 30 degrees is the ideal time to start a 12 week countdown to rest the paddock. This is because the larvae need those climates to shed and then once they shed, if they're not taken up by a host, aka your horse, they can't survive on their own, thus being eliminated. Whilst removing all manure is considered best practice, it's not always practical on large scale properties. Having cattle or sheep follow horses in a grazing pattern can also help to eradicate larvae, as they cannot transfer between species. Parasites do not move to new properties, horses do, so it's important that any new arrival to your farm is subject to a quarantine protocol. New horses should be wormed on arrival and isolated for at least five days to shed any eggs it may be carrying. Containing and disposing of that manure safely will ensure minimal spread to the rest of your paddocks. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you learned a thing or two. Remember to check out Verbach's Horse Health Hub. And be sure to follow us on social media. Bye for now.